childbirth, and menopause, two of the most impactful life events that women experience are the leading causes of pelvic organ prolapse. The question we get most often behind APOP's curtain is, why wasn't I informed of or screened for POP sooner? There is sadly a significant shortfall in POP screening during routine women's wellness exams, and that needs to be addressed. I highly encourage all women to speak up. I highly encourage all clinicians who engage in treatment for POP to speak up. We have got to advance women's health into the 21st century. I'm Sherry Palm, the founder of the Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support, encouraging everyone to be strong and take a stand.